Ronald McNair was a very gifted nine-year-old African-American boy living in South Carolina. While he was good at virtually everything he tried, the only thing that ever really grabbed his attention was outer space. And so he decided the first thing he would do would be to go to his library and take out some books on NASA. However, there was an issue with his plan. This library only served white patrons. It was a segregated library. Ronald knew this, but he figured, you know what? I'm a polite kid. I can get in there and get out before anybody notices me. But as soon as he walked into that library, everybody in there who were all white just stared at Ronald. Ronald could feel it, but he just kept his head down and he walked through the library. He got to the science section. He grabbed a couple books he wanted and then he walked back to the counter and he put them up and he very politely asked the librarian, who was also white, if he could check these books out. And this librarian looks at him and says, young man, you better get out of here before I call the police. And Ronald at this point looks up at the librarian and thinks for a second and then just hops up onto her counter and sits there and says, okay, I'll wait for the police. The librarian was totally outraged and would would call the police and would call Ronald's mother. And before long, the police did show up and it was two white guys. They come inside and this librarian runs over to them and she's talking to them and she's pointing back over at Ronald, gesticulating that very clearly Ronald is the issue. That's why you've been called here. And the officers would be just totally annoyed by this librarian. And they would say to her, why don't you just let the kid take the books out? And the librarian was totally offended at this and began defending her decision to call the police instead of letting him take the books out. And and as she's defending herself, Ronald's mother comes running into the library. She runs over to her son to make sure he's okay. And then she looks up at the police officers and this librarian to try to figure out what's going on. And at this point, the police officers are just totally over it. And they turn to the librarian and they say, you know what? You really ought to let him take the books out. And then the officers just turned around and left. The librarian was not about to just let him take the books. She was still very upset. And so she storms over to Ronald's mother and she says to her, you shouldn't let your son come in here. And at this, Ronald's mother is looking at this librarian who's totally upset, and she looks down at her son who's got his head down, and then she notices the few books on the counter about space, and she was aware of Ronald's love for outer space. And after thinking about it for a moment, she looks up at this librarian, and she just says, well, since he's here already, can he take out those books? He'll take good care of them. The librarian is still totally furious, but knows this is a losing fight. And so very reluctantly, with a scowl on her face, she grabs the books and she jams them into Ronald's arms. And Ronald's mother nudges Ronald and says, what do you say? And Ronald, while holding all of his new books about NASA and space, looks up at the librarian and smiles and says, thank you, ma'am. And then he and his mom turn around and they leave. Ronald would go on to earn his PhD in physics from MIT, one of the most prestigious universities in the world, and after graduation, he was picked up by NASA to become an astronaut. And in 1984, Ronald went into outer space. He was actually the second African American to ever go into outer space. And while he was in orbit, apparently he played his saxophone for his crew. And then in 1986, Ronald was chosen again to go on another mission to outer space, but tragically, 73 seconds after takeoff, their space shuttle, the Challenger, exploded, killing Ronald and the six other astronauts on Board. Following his death, the library in South Carolina that had tried to turn Ronald away for his skin color renamed themselves the Ronald McNair Life History Center. Just know that I really appreciate your support, and until next time, that's going to do it. See ya.